Good morning. I don't know if you read my Facebook post yesterday about my healthy lifestyle having sort of oh, gone down the drain a little bit in previous months. And I talked about that some. And I, I realized I need to get things together. And so I started yesterday. And what's made a tremendous difference is having so much support from you guys. Oh my gosh. This morning when I woke up, I felt really proud because I went through yesterday and I made a lot of good healthy choices. You know, not just about my eating. Um, of course, you know, that's important to my weight, right? Which, and I, I feel like there needs to be less of me. Um, <clears throat> I'm not comfortable in my own skin the way I am currently. But also I made a lot of good choices about, you know, getting up and moving around and doing things that I need to do, like around the house and stuff, and just personally. Um, it was very inspiring. You know, I felt like I had, um, I don't know, like I had a lot of people behind me kind of saying, yeah, yay, you know, cheering me on. And it made me feel really good. And when I felt good, of course, it made it easier to make a lot of good choices. So this morning, I just felt really great. And I thought, you know, I'm just going to weigh myself. Um, and honestly, even if the scale went up, I don't care, you know, because I know I'm doing the right stuff. And eventually that scale's going to go down. And also, I feel good. So I must be doing something right. Because it's, it's a feeling good that's not just in the moment. But, you know, in other words, it's not just right after I eat the double fudge brownie or the hot fudge sundae or the french fries or something. <laughs> but it's lasting, you know, over time. You know, it's not a lot of time yet. It counts. I know that there are people who, who are listening to this who can relate. Anyway, so I was 2.4 pounds down from what I was yesterday morning. Now you may say, how can somebody lose that in one day? I'll tell you how. I was eating so crazy the few days before yesterday morning that I was probably all bloated up. And then, you know, probably just my body said when I ate um, in a good way yesterday to fuel the needs of my body rather than to fuel my imagination of what I thought I needed. <laughs> um, you know, my body said, oh, okay, you know, we'll get rid of <laughs> some of this extra stuff we're hanging on to, like a lot of the water. I was up in the night peeing a lot. Anyway, so this morning... I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee, of course. And one of the things that I'm doing is, I, this is a little, it's a quarter cup measure, but it also has tablespoons and ounces and milliliters and cups. So um, I went ahead and I was pretty good about estimating amounts in my various kinds of cups and in just, you know, the feeling in my wrist of how much I poured. But I poured my usual milk in the cup and then I thought, let me just measure it. Poured it in the measuring cup. Yep, quarter of a cup. So um, the reason I'm keeping track is just so that I know what I'm putting in. You know, one of the things I was doing before see this this is powdered peanut butter it's a lot isn't it and this is in two tablespoons is 50 calories okay now just to give you a point of reference this would be four tablespoons so a hundred calories if it was you know I measured out powdered peanut butter it's very easy, when, oh, and I would use it in shakes, by the way. It's very easy when you're measuring things to slowly 
even just over a few days, start not really noticing that you're adding a little bit more and a little bit more. And it's, it's really easy to go from one to two to three to four if you're not using a measuring device. And, you know, I was just using um, a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. That heap just kept getting bigger. Well, you know, so every time I used that, instead of having maybe 25 or 50 calories, I was having 100 or maybe sometimes 200. Oh, I'll just add a little bit more. So I'm keeping track because for me, all of those little bitty things add up. Uh, that that's where I find a lot of my extra calories is in, oh it just add a little bit more and I end up adding a little bit more too many times um, or too much of a little bit oh well I need to decide on a coffee this morning um, you know um, I got an, an email from my brother and he was saying I um, I haven't heard wine enthusiasts obsess over you know, a fine wine, um, like you obsess over your coffee. <laughs> you know what? That's probably right. I really so enjoy my coffee every morning. I really do. Um, well, except for the couple of mornings, if you've been watching my videos, like on YouTube, where I've actually had to pour it down the sink. But most of the time, I just love it. This is a great sturdy steel drawer set for my coffee, but sometimes ooh, it makes that squeaky sound. Okay, so, mmm. All right, I'm going to have Stormio. This is an espresso Stormio for a Virtuo. This is a Virtuo. That's the type of machine um, that I'm using by Nespresso. So we have, I'll make this Stormio and we'll say, Lord, please help all those people in New, New Orleans and the other places that are being adversely affected by that hurricane. Oh my gosh. I just, I thank the Lord that it's not coming through here. I once went through a tornado and had to be out of my house for six months while it was being um, pretty much... I'd say half of it was rebuilt. So, you know, I, I understand about these weather emergencies and catastrophes, and I would not want to go through something like that again. So God bless those people there, and Lord help them. Okay, so I am going to put in, hmm, Stormio and, what can I put in here? Uh, I will put it. You know what? I tell you what. I could use like you know, sweet and low equals splendor, whatever. I've got Jordan Skinny Syrup here, and one ounce has zero calories. Oh wait, where's the ounces side? Oh, there it is in there. Okay. Um, simple syrup is just, it's like a sugar syrup, except this is, um, what is this? If it's zero calories, it doesn't have sugar, right? It is sucralose. Yep. Sucralose. What is sucralose? Um, at the moment, I, I cannot tell you. Some hey, hush puppy, what's wrong? Shh. Oh, somebody's outside. Here, Grayson. Grayson. Hey, Grayson. He's looking, watching out the window there. Hey, it's okay, buddy. Grayson, it's okay, sweet puppy. Well, excuse us. Anyhow, yeah, sometimes I remember what these artificial things are, and sometimes I don't. And this is a don't.
this morning. So just, you know, for information's sake, let me tell you that if something says zero calories, for example, in this one, zero calories per ounce, what that means is that this is according to the FDA rules, Federal Drug Administration, which sets rules for food things. FDA, is that who does it? Or is it the USDA? Oh, well, I can't remember. But anyway, <laughs> I do know what it means. It means that there is less than five calories in that amount of food, okay? So, Technically, if I was counting calories, probably would be wise to count it as five calories. You know, just because it's not really zero calories. The only thing with zero calories is water, plain water. So, mm. I hope I'm not going to feel self-conscious now because of what my brother said. Hey, Lou, um, about my obsessing over my coffee. Oh, uh, I don't feel self-conscious. This is so good. Oh, my gosh. Stormio with almond milk, quarter of a cup of almond milk, and an ounce of Jordan's Simple Skinny Syrup, or Skinny Simple Syrup. Anyhow, so... Um, the program that I coach, which is the same program that I'm following right now to get my health journey back on track, one of the big things that it has to offer is support. As I said, that's made such a big difference for me. How long have I been doing it this time around? One day. But you know what? I mean, you know how it is. If you're trying to make any sort of a life change, anything at all, you know, I don't care if it's um, something at work, something with your health, something with your kids. Oh, my gosh. Um, whatever it is, anything in your life, it makes such a difference to have support. And the thing is, part of that support is I know I'm not the only one working on this. So, I feel like there are other people who understand. And so they're supporting me, not just because they're supportive, positive people, or they like me, or they care about me, or they're, you know, interested or curious, but because they're trying to do the same thing too. So I have got a supportive community, not just through you guys, but through the whole program that I'm part of. So um, yeah, if anybody else is interested in this, get in touch with me, let me know, and follow my progress. You know what? So I did great for one day, but moving towards a goal is made up of, you know, Every minute, every hour, every day. Master the day. I can't think about, you know, what's, say, 15 or 20 pounds away. I just got to think about not even the next pound or half a pound. I need to think about what am I doing now? Am I acting in a way now that's going to help me to achieve my future goal? That's what I need to be thinking about. And knowing that there are other people who are working on the same thing. You know, I may come on one morning and say, oh gosh, totally, you know, was just a disaster yesterday or whatever. But that's not today. Today it's going well. And you know what? No matter how things have been in your past, give up the hope for a better past. You can write a new future. So that's, I'm trying to do that for myself. So, all right, I hope you have a wonderful day. I am going to go deliriously enjoy my coffee. <laughs>